Live a life that is worthy of emulation. Live a life that can attract somebody. Do you desire to be fruitful? The qualification for fruitfulness is that you must abide in him. As they cast him down, you will announce that there is a lifting up. I will praise and lift you up. I will praise and lift you up. I will praise and lift you up. As to the book of Psalms Psalms 37 I just show you a scripture and we'll get going I'm not moved let evil doers boast I'm not moved let them boast of what they have achieved and what they have I am not moved help me tell your neighbor say of a truth I'm not moved I'm not moved by what is happening around the wicked. I'm not moved about the, what the wicked is showing off with. I am not moved about what they are claiming that they have or they have achieved. I am not moved by what the wicked gain out of his wickedness. I am not moved about what they achieved out of evil doing. I am not moved about what they think they have that I do not have. I'm not moved about my present state. I'm not moved about what the enemy is doing. I'm not moved. Help me tell your neighbor, say I'm not moved. Come on, help me tell your neighbor, say I'm not moved. Touch your neighbor one more time, say I'm not moved. Listen to me now. I do not compare myself with an evil doer. I do not judge myself with an evil man or an evil woman. I am not jealous of what they have or what they have achieved. I do not desire to be like them. I do not dream to be seen or likened to them. I may not have it now. The wicked may be showing off now. But I am not moved. For I know that after now, he that promised shall keep his promise. I am not moved by what anybody get out of stealing, out of robbing. I am not moved by 
by what you get out of 419 out of game it doesn't move me i am not moved by what you have that is achieved through wickedness and evil for i know that the fruit of wickedness does not last by what you think and say that you have but was not given to you by God I'm not moved for I know that it will not be long the wickedness of the wicked will find him out Psalm 37 are you there? Psalm 37 you are there? Oh yeah give me verse 1 2 and possibly 3 if time permits Fret not thyself because of evil doers. Fret not thyself because of evil doers. Neither be envious against the workers of iniquity. Do not be envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down. Come on, boy, sir. Like the grass. For they shall soon be cut down. Down like the grass and wither as the green herb and wither as the green herb trust in the Lord and do good hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on do not be jealous of evil doers they appear like a shining light in the morning but in the evening you see them no more in the beginning, evil to an ordinary eyes looks attractive. The Bible said there is a way that cement right unto a man. But the end thereof is destruction. I am not moved when I see the wicked shining. I am not moved when I see the wicked rejoicing. I'm not moved when it looks like the wicked is prospering. For I know that they shall soon be cut down. They shall soon be cut down. But the path of the righteous is like a wind that blows. Nobody know where it's coming from and nobody know where it's going. The path of the righteous is like a light that shines brighter and brighter every day to the perfect day. I may not get there all at a sudden, but give me time, I will get there. I may not get there suddenly because I do not serve the God of magic, but I serve the God of miracle. In his miraculous work, he may not take me there all at a sudden. He will let me go through the process so that I understand what it takes to get there. But one thing is sure anytime God starts lifting you, nobody will think about your falling. Anybody thinking about your falling is wasting time because it is not possible for a man that is being lifted by God to fall. That is why I, I pity those who are waiting for when Tokunadu will fall. Who are waiting for when we will go down. It is an error. It's a fruitless effort. Brother, I didn't lift myself so you can bring me down. It doesn't matter what you think. We may be walking on the road like we are dying. Brother, don't make mistake. Nothing is wrong with us. We we are better every day we are getting good every day things are working better every day the only thing is in our humility to our maker we still stay the way we are giving him all the glory with praise in our mouth with thanksgiving in our leaves we give him all the glory we give him all the honor but don't make mistake I'm not moved by what the wicked is doing. I'm not moved by the success of the wicked. That is why you will see them shine today. But tomorrow they are nowhere. I tell you this brother, any man who get riches through evil doing
again uh, give them some time uh, when you turn around uh, there will be no sign that there was a time they ever had anything yes, sir. is it true yes, sir. most times you ask yourself questions was it not this man that was so sound so person before was it not this man that was come on is it true or false why the bible said they will soon be cut down everyone here the only reason many children of god run into problem with god from time to time is because we intend to compete with the evil doers don't compete with an evil doer most times we seem to be comparing ourselves with evil doers you are not in the same category with them you are not at the same cuddle am i talking to you now don't be moved when you see them carry too much money today they carry the money in the morning but in the evening they do not have nothing i like to say this to you don't allow what the wicked have to move you don't allow what the wicked is doing to move you be yourself stand your ground you may not have it today but i have a good news for you let praise be in your mouth they have the money but they still jealous you why do they jealous you they got the money but they have no peace of mind they got the money but their heart is not at rest they got the money but they are not enjoying the money and that is why the wicked is spending his money and gnashing his teeth that is why the wicked is spending his money and his heart is spinning that is why the wicked cannot give you any money out of his money because he's paying with his blood but can i say this to you that's a child of god in this place your bank account is not too large but there is peace in your heart when you walk into your house you feel so much at home you are not afraid of anything you are not moved by anything for the lord who keepeth israel he neither sleeps or slumbers i am confident i came to talk to a believer here stop comparing yourself with the wicked i love them do what they are doing i love them go where they are going we do not belong to the same class we do not belong to the same level don't be moved by what they wear don't be moved by what they put on don't be moved by what they drive don't be moved by where they go i preached a message in lagos i told the people of god i said what you drive does not matter what matters is what drives you it's not about what you drive it's about what is driving you then i concluded by saying that but don't make mistake in the end what drives you will determine what you drive so don't start by looking out for what you drive for my bible says seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you and now who who does the adding god is the one that does the adding he will not add it in your time he will add it in his time for the bible says he makes all things beautiful in his time side of god what makes you who you are is not how much money you have. Am I, am I making a point now? It's not how much money you have. It is only the wicked that boast of how much they have. It's only the wicked that boast of their children. That is why I pity any child of God that make boast with anything that has to do with the word. You don't boast with children. You don't boast with husband. You don't boast with wife. You don't boast with money. You don't boast with car. You don't boast with house. What is your boast? My boast is that my name is written in the book of life. My boast is that I have Jesus as my stronghold. My boast is that I belong to the family of God. That is my boasting. If I must make boast, I will boast in the Lord if i must talk i got brags in my mouth if i must brag i must brag with the name of the lord that is our boast that is who we are the wicked boast of what they have the wicked boast of where they are the wicked boast of where they have been we don't 
boast of where we have been. That is why I tell the church, you don't use the same weapon with the wicked to fight the wicked. It is practically wrong if I stand here and all I talk about is what I have, is who I am. It's not about who I am. It's about who he is. It's not about what I can do. It's about what he can do. It's about what he can do. I came to talk to a believer. It's not about what you think. It's about what God is doing in your life. Somebody lift your voice and holler amen. Lift your voice. Holler amen. I can't hear you. Holler. It's not about who you are. It's not about what you have. You don't make boast with all of those. It's about God. It's about who he is. Help me. I'm not moved. A true child of God. Don't get intimidated by what another is doing. I think I'm going to round off with this now. Listen to me. If you're a true child of God. Hear me son. No matter who come to you to make boasts. You can still stand your ground. It takes somebody who doesn't know his God. To get moved because somebody come to you and tell you, do you know, uh, just two days ago, I bought Ferrari. Uh, just two weeks ago, I, 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 I am putting on Jovenshi. I, I have Calivo. It doesn't matter what you have. It doesn't matter what you got. It doesn't matter what you have achieved. Tell me all you have. After telling me, you will see praise in my mouth. I will open my mouth and say, Talagaba Bayele. That's what I have. That's what I have got. There is praise in my mouth. There is thanksgiving in my mouth. I came to give God praise. I came to live the name of my God. It's not about what I have. It's about who I have. You don't get intimidated. You don't come to church and make, allow anybody make you feel inferior. You don't come to church and allow the words of anybody put you down or put your spirit down. Some people come to church to intimidate others. They intimidate you by the way they talk. They intimidate you by the way they present themselves. Child of God, any day you walk into church and you are intimidated by what another person is putting on, then you don't know who you are. Uh, you can wear you can wear Jovenshi. My brother, anything I wear, I can wear Ben Dan Salet. But as I walk into church, I'm not walking into church to look at your Jovenshi. I'm walking into church to look at my Jehovah. But with my bend and select, your praise will not overtake my own. Your worship will not overtake my own. You cannot intimidate me while I enter the house of my father. I'm not looking at what you are putting on. I'm not feeling what you are feeling. I'm not even seeing what you are doing. What I see is that there is praise in my mouth. What I see is that I have appointment with destiny. What I see is that my turn is coming. What I see is that I will soon step into my season. What I see is that my God is alive. I may wear what you call rag today but after we are in rag today, he will will change my rag if he allow me to wear rag then he has kept something better for me if he allow me to be looked down on today he has a better plan for me i came to talk to a believer here don't let anybody intimidate you don't let anybody talk you down don't let anybody tell you you're not good don't let anybody tell you they are superior to you i don't know who you are but hear me now as I walk into the house of my father I walk in with praise in my mouth I walk in with thanksgiving all over me I walk in knowing that my God is able he that started the good work in me he will bring it to pass he will bring it to pass
us. Somebody holler if you will. Somebody shout if you will. Somebody holler God will answer. Somebody holler God will answer. I came to talk to a believer. Don't be intimidated in your compound. Don't allow anybody to intimidate you in your village. Let them boast. You boast in the name of your God. You boast that you got praise in your mouth. You boast that you got Jehovah. You boast that God is on your side. You boast that the enemy can't stop you. You boast that the hand of the Lord is upon you. Somebody holla! Somebody say, I, I, I'm not coming to church because I don't have money. My friend, shut up. I'm not coming to church because I have money. Whether I have money or not, I need to be in church. If God wants me to give money, he will give me money. If he has given me money, that's when I will give it to him. Oh, come on, am I talking to somebody? I, I will not, I will not say I won't be in church because I do not have money. I cannot have money and tell God I don't have. But I won't stop church because there is no money in my pocket. Ladies and gentlemen, I will not stop smiling because I got no money. You know some people, when they have no money, anger will fill their heart. They will squeeze their face. Everybody becomes their enemy. Whatever you tell them is wrong. But whether I have money or not, brother, hear from me whether there's money in my pocket or not there's always praise in my mouth there is praise in my mouth because it is not about money it's about God can I get a believer hello listen 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 don't be jealous eh? don't be don't you ever Look at what is happening in the life of another and allow it bother you. Anybody can be blessed. And when you see God blessing somebody, it's a sign that God is in the blessing business. And if he can bless somebody, it means he will soon bless you. I don't know if you heard me. Now, when you see another girl getting married, please, don't allow your spirit go down. Some people go to the traditional marriage and to the wedding of an old, another person and end up going home in tears. I, I seen your her 12 years. She's wedding. Look at me. My friend, will you shut up? The longer you wait for the miracle, the bigger the miracle. Keep quiet. She may be marrying Ndidi. But you are going to marry D. <laughs> Listen to me. If God give you wife, carry. If he give you husband, carry. Now God, they give. If he give you money, take. Okay? If whatever he give you, take. Okay? Don't you ever wish to be another person. Because the person you are wishing to be may be wishing to be you. Bible Believing Mission Incorporated, the dwelling place of the God of Talking and Truth. You don't live in Abahe. We are. Umu Echiala. is where? Samaris. In that your father's company, do you people have tenants? Yes. You have tenants in that house? Yes. There is a tenant that has vowed that you will not marry. Yes. Did he say it to the hearing of the people in the compound? Or he said? Yes, sir. He said it to the hearing of the people in the compound. Yes. He has vowed that you will not marry. And there is somebody now coming for your hand in marriage. Yes. And that person now, the tenant is stopping the person from coming. Saying he will never be alive to see that person come to marry you. Who yes. brought you here? Someone. Our neighbor. <laughs> someone. Our you, you know her? He brought you. No, someone. someone else brought you. But he know you. Yes. 
You know her, sir. Eh? You encourage her. It's your neighbor. Okay, you live at uh, that is a Mary. Umochiala. Okay. Do you believe in the power of God? Yes. You believe in the power of God? Talk to me now. Yes. I am telling you something serious. Yes. He vowed you will not marry. Stand up, my dear. He vowed. There are people who when they say something about you, they do not keep quiet. They carry actions to ensure that they carry it out. When you come into a meeting like this and you meet a man carrying God's grace and I, I, I point to you and I say, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Something will change. Hold on. We will turn it around. Hold on. We will change the situation. How can a man open his mouth and say to another, I will determine what happened to you. I will determine how it will happen in your life. And it looks like it's happening that way. And now, I came in the volume of the book that is written of me. I came with fire and thunder in my mouth. I came with grace. I came with anointing. And I came to announce that in this meeting, something must change. Somebody holler. But now, what he has said and done, I scatter it. I scatter it. From this moment, what God said concerning you is different from what he is saying. So what he has said, we follow him. For you, I release you from it. That sister there that is writing, can you come down? Can you come down from there? Come and see me. In fact, hold on, hold on. Just show me your face from here, from the garden. Stand up, show me your face. Just stand up. Stand up. The wicked has done two major things in your life. Locked your womb, locked your destiny. You were doing better when you were not married. The enemy locked this way, locked this way. Locked your womb with ancient old key. Now locked the source of your income with another wicked key. What you were doing and prospering before, right now it looks like it's locked. Those holding your money are all seizing it. Everything seems to be blocked. While you were writing, I see an ancient old key kept by your side. And the Lord said to me, this key, until it opens, her life won't open. So now come down and touch my hand as you receive the opening of the wicked key. Don't run too much so you don't fall. I'm a ram no yet him no so. I'm a ram no ram no yet him no so. I'm a ram no yet him no so. I'm a ram no yet him no so. the foundation be destroyed, the righteous can do nothing. Anytime it looks like you will see the light of the day, everything seems to cover again. Darkness seems to take over the day. Things seem to block and be tight again. Look at where you entered now. 
and you are doing the small business that you thought you would prosper from there. Come and touch my hands. Just come and touch me. I'm the one carrying the prophetic mandate of the God of Tokunadu. I see you writing tickets. Writing tickets for travel. Yes, sir. Is that what you do? Yes, sir. Stand up. Stand. Go. Are you around me, Vatin area? Yes, sir. One small corner like this. Yes, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you after service? Go back. See down there. I'm here, sir. I'm the one carrying the prophetic mandate of the God of God. That time you used to hear talking, I do. I think they are asking you when I got to do. Yes, but you are back there now. Amen. Two hours after you arrive the place. Umon can call Gunila Hena there who there. Hana there does like there. Or return all back to the sender. I carry the prophetic mandate. Amen. You can say anything about me, you can say there is no power. Amen. Settle. Amen. Settle. Amen. Who can come and wear a booties? I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a The hand of the Lord will come upon you and God will rescue you. Lift your voice and holler, Amen. I was telling you about untimely death, sir. I was talking about untimely death in the family. Yes, sir. You heard me when I said so? Yes, sir. I was talking to somebody before I said they should call you. Yes, you were just walking past. I said they should call you. Yes, and you came out. The Lord said to me that untimely death in the family is now threatening. The funny thing is while you were passing, the Lord told me that you people are the same number with the family of my sister, nine, nine. Nine, nine. Yes, sir. Your own five dead, remaining four. Your own seven dead, remaining two. It's true, sir. So, it was the similarity that God showed me. That's why I said they should call you from afar to come out. And the, uh, the funny part is that as we are here now, the one that died January has not been buried. He's still inside the mortuary and you people, three of you remaining at that time, we are afraid to say let's not bury because we might bury now another we die. Yes, then uh, from that January up until July another died and joined, making it two now in the mortuary. So the remaining two of you now are confused because you don't know, should we bury or should we not bury? If we bury now, is another going to die? I came to announce to everyone here, whether you're upstairs, downstairs, the only thing that can save us at this perilous time is the power of God. The only thing that makes the difference at a time like this it's the grace of God I came to tell you now if your family was suffering untimely death before but the declaration of this mandate your family will not suffer it again will not suffer it again will not suffer it again I decree and declare your family won't suffer it again. Somebody raise your voice and hello. Raise your voice and hello. Your family will not suffer it again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your family won't suffer it again. Listen. As you go home now. Tell your brother, you push, you come together. Yes, Put your heads together, go and bury them. Yes, this remaining two won't die again. Amen. But something must happen now. Yes, 
listen to me, listen to me. Except that which is killing your family dies. Your family may keep dying. But when that which is killing the family dies, death will cease. Can I do that now? Can I do it quickly now? Stand, stand my dear. Stand my dear. Can I do it quickly now? I don't know what has been killing in your family. Whatever it is, I give a spiritual order in the next 25 minutes. Whatever it is will die. Whoever it is will die. Somebody lift your voice and hello. Somebody raise your voice and hello. Somebody lift your voice and hello. The world is a wicked place. Now hold on, hold on. If anybody in the world decides to lock you up, they have decided. The people of this world are mean. In the next 25 minutes, anything that has been killing in your family and in your compound, that thing will die. Settle. 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 Bible Believing Mission Incorporated, the dwelling place of the God of Thorpe and Truth. Do you believe that in this house we can, we can disagree with the, what the devil wants to do in your family and it will happen instantly? How many of you believe it? Whatever the devil wants to steal in your family, whatever the devil wants to steal in your life, with the power of the immediate, I say no. I said no. I said no. I said no. I said no. There is a bed. I hear the Lord say, a bed flying from a burial mama. You know a place called a burial mama. That's your place. I hear God say to me that a bed from a burial mama is troubling your sister all the way where she lives at France. At a particular time, that bed will come. Walk upon the roof of the house where she lives. There at France, her body system will scatter. The, the, her business, the work of her hands, everything will scatter. Because the wicked is operating from a burial moment. Now, the root of the bed at a burial moment in River State is a River State. Yes, I speak now by the authority of heaven as I shin the bed. As I shin the bed, I stop the bed from operating at France. I speak as an oracle from here. Distance is not a barrier. I don't know who you are. As you hear the sound of my voice right now, wherever the attack is coming from, I speak now. I arrest the wicked. I stop their operation. I stop the wickedness of the wicked. I stop them from operating now. I seize their power. I silence their influence. Somebody holla, amen. anybody planted in your family the same person will start reaping it from now from this moment henceforth you will know that the Lord sent me I didn't send myself I speak as an oracle of God from this minute 
from this minute from this minute whatsoever anybody sowed in your family they shall be reaping it one after the other somebody holla if you will holla if you will stand up young man you 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 yeah stand up come come to me come to me you are supposed to be great you are supposed to be doing well there is a force from your compound that is fighting you from doing well there is a force from your compound that is resisting your progress yes sir true you were doing better than this but all at a sudden, everything is crashing down. When you should have settled. Are you a marina? Yes, I am a marina. You are supposed to be doing well. But right now, the things you gathered before, you are selling them. Even kept your property for sale. Because you want to raise some little money. But yet, with your job, others are making it. To an extent that the wicked is trying to scatter and destabilize your family. What you need is help. How can one man, one tiny old man, in Isialangwa South, open his mouth and say, this young man, the way he's going. You were, uh, you, you were driving car before. Yes. Honda Accord, you sold it. Because look at you inside the car. But all of a sudden now, you are moving barefooted. Your wife? Some people are telling you, you made a mistake to marry him. Huh? It's not a mistake. It is called the challenges of life. It happens to anybody. That is why you need a prophet. Because anytime your prophet shows up, your prophet shows up. Stop crying, my daughter. Hold yourself. It's okay now. We don't make people cry. We make them laugh. I came into this meeting to turn your life around. After today, you will know you had an encounter with God's servant. For your story will never be the same again. I hear God say to me, the heart of this young man is troubled and confused. You want to run away with your wife and go far. That is your plan. But now, I don't know how many of you who they tied down the way they tied him down. But it doesn't matter how they did it. Today, I announce your freedom. 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 Today, Lift your voice and holler, amen. amen. Today, I announce your freedom. Amen. I announce your freedom. Amen. The Lord will free you. 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 Somebody holler, amen, and receive it. I clean you up again. Things won't be the same from now. Amen. The Lord will restore back your glory. Amen. And the rainbow of your destiny. Amen. Child of God, Hala settle. Settle. <laughs> Bible believing mission in the dwelling place of the God of Talking and Truth.
bring down that hand. Bring down that hand. The hand. Your hand, bring it down. Lift this one up. Who, who is this? Come. Is this man a pastor? Yes, sir. He's under wicked manipulation. The devil turned his life around. He was living abroad. Yes, sir. Pastoring in Israel. Yes, sir. As a pastor. Came back here. Just for burial assignments. To bury his father and go back. Yes, sir. And that was how they turned him. Gave him stroke and turned his brain. And got him stranded in Nigeria. And you people can no longer move. Yes, eh? Yes, sir. Can you bring this picture for me here on Sunday? When you are coming, you were living with him there. Yes, sir. When you are coming, just come with this picture, only this picture. This is the picture I want to see. I want to trace it back to his village and tell the devil that he's a liar. In the next how many minutes do you want your mother to stand up from the hospital? One minute. Whatsoever I shall hear you say when you pray, that is what I will do unto you. For four years and two weeks now, your mother has been at the same place. But you stood here now and you told me you want it in one minute. Take it in one minute. Somebody hallelujah. <laughs> young man your destiny is under context you need somebody to help you you need somebody to help you. you you know him you don't know him and you're shouting like you know him is anybody that know you here okay okay you know him okay you know him there is somebody that should help you every help you got before could not move you forward. Yes, sir. You have a brother that should help you now. Yes, sir. Come. Uh, you know him very well. Okay, the same line with you. Bring this young man on Sunday. Eh? Bring him to the office. I want to see you. There is something I want to tell you. About here and the mess I said again. Here and the butchery goes on. Oh yeah, me no we here could have gaga. Come, can me perege something. There is a lady that is craving man. A lady of 28 years craving mad at where they call Okigwe Junction. She will always come out at the express, come out where there is a mechanic workshop and be walking around that place. Her name is Lilian, your sister. She will always walk around that place. At Okigwe Junction, go to where they, they sell Mama Put, beg for rice. She will always be hanging around that place, going around that place. In the next 20 minutes, their stepmother will become mad. Why the lady will be fine? She will walk back home. The stepmother will walk out as a mad woman. For whatsoever a man sow, he shall reap it. Child of God, hala settle. Hala it one more time. And hala it for the last time. Go.
Bible believing mission incorporated the dwelling place of the God of Thor and Jew. That which blocked your way, you put hands into business nearly for the business to work out something will just happen and the thing will collapse you will get to the point of payment instead of paying you will hear a story you will get to the point of success something will just come up and everything will scatter now because I bear the mark of God I change this destiny for you I turn it around for you it is changed here in the name of Jesus Christ a believer has a settle stand up sir uh, you can't kill a man uh, when his God is alive the only and the best way to kill a man is to create problem between the man and his God that is why when the devil wants to kill anybody, the first thing he does is to bring you out from where you get a covering. Then he will take some time and watch you off from what you had contacted from the grace. Then he mess you up. Then he mess you up. Uh, but now, okay, they have done everything to bring you out from here. You are still alive today because you refuse to move. I kept quiet. I know what has been going on in your life. I know all the attacks you've been going through. I know what your small brother in the village has been doing to you. Because I will not lose my own. Now, over the years. Now, I carry the prophetic mandate of the God of Tognadu. I may keep you quiet, but I'm looking for something. I may keep you quiet, but I want to know who you are. At this point, Baminda. You know, there is a way they call their country. It's different from how we call it. Because if you ask an Igbo man to call it, he will call it Cameroon. But they call it Kama. Cameroon. Do you know Baminda? Yes. Between me and you, who is from Baminda? Who is coming from there? Is is it, and you laugh. I'm that man you used to watch on television. Some of those things you see on television, you are seeing them live now. And how do you feel? I feel great. You feel great. Okay, I'm going to do something for you now. Amen. There is something somebody took away from your life, boasted, that no other person will enter your life. That after you run around and run around, you will come back to him because he feel his God and he boasted that no pastor can deliver you but he didn't know you will leave Cameroon to come to Abba to come and meet the one carrying the prophetic mandate of the God of talk and he didn't know that that day you will come that you will meet me one on one that you will meet me in person and you will meet me ready for battle you will meet me as a carrier of the man of the God of Tocnado. I feel it here. It's all over me now. Somebody help me. And my child and I has come upon me. But I like to do the work of He that sent me. I feel it. I the other man of the brother. I carry grace. And my child of God is all over me now. The power of the man is all over me now. The power what he took away God is restoring it 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 God is restoring it
God is restoring it now. Amen. Child of God, holla, amen. amen. God is restoring it now. Amen. Holla, amen. God will confirm it. Amen. He made a boast that no pastor can deliver you. Stand up. He messes up people's life. He has money. You are not the only woman he has messed up. He messed your life up. You are out of his hands, but you are not out of him. He's still holding you bound. Using spiritual powers to manipulate you. He's still sending the wicked spirits to come and sleep with you. Mess, messing you up. Claiming to be God. Messing up from one woman to another woman because he has money. But today, you've seen me one on one. I'm a carrier of the prophetic mandate. Can I touch your head, please? Can I touch your head? As you return back to Cameroon now, go and get ready for a new life. Amen. Somebody holla. I want to say something to you now. Carry this baby back to the house inside that village where you people live. Enter your, your husband's house. Carry this baby to your mother-in-law. As she's sitting down, carry the baby, put on her laps. Yes, sir. She will shout. Yes, sir. Then collect the baby back. That is the only way your husband can be free from poverty. Amen. That is the only way you can be free from suffering. Amen. Your mother-in-law made covenant that any child that passes through her laps will never amount to anything except that child enter where she belongs to. That is why since you gave birth to this one and the senior one, your mother-in-law has never carried them on her laps for the first time. Just go to where she's sitting and put the baby on her laps. You are returning back her covenant to her. Collect your baby back after she shouts. Leave the rest. Your husband's work. Everything. You are going to deliver the entire family. Do what I have told you with this baby. You may say what you can say. You may say what you desire to say. But brother, there is something given to me by the do do dynamics of heaven. When he was sending me, what did he say? He said, whatever you bound on earth is bound in heaven. So even angels cannot lose it. My friend, if I bound it here, heaven, God will not lose it. Why wouldn't God lose it? I'll tell you. Number one, I read my scripture. In the generation of the prophets, the prophet stood up. Elijah said, There shall be no rain in this land except I. Elijah said so. <laughs> except I said there will be rain. There will be no rain in this land except me. Elijah said there will be rain. Child of God, I began to follow the scripture. One year passed, no rain. Second year, no rain. Third year, no rain. God of heaven decided to send rain. Did not but send it. He called Elijah on the phone. He dialed the number of Elijah. And when God called him, God said, Son, or you go now. Go and talk. That it will rain. For me, God, I am prepared to send rain. But I cannot send it except by your word. Why? Because if God send rain without the word coming from the mouth of Elijah, then the scripture has been broken. The scripture cannot be broken. So God will wait. Some of you are asking, what is holding me? That's why he brought you here. 
He led them out by the mouth of the prophet. And he led them in by the mouth of the prophet. He brought you here so that any day my heart pleases with you. I will lead you out. That is why the Bible said they all ran. Never broke ranks. Because God spreads authority things to dead by him. God has the power to do everything. But there are some things God will not do in Toknadu family. doesn't tell me. Because he has broken rank. He said I will never do anything except I first feel it to my servants, the prophet. Why is he revealing it? In the book of Isaiah, you will see the reason so that we can argue it with him. Bible believing mission in the dwelling place of the God of Toknadu.